guys, welcome back to my channel, The Planted Carly Flower. I'm Carly, and today we are going to talk about my plant of the month and give out the Planty Award for April. This is the plant that I got the most joy from this year, or this month, and the plant that I found myself ooing and aahing over. Um, I feel like it's a very underrated plant. Not a lot of people talk about it, but I'm here to tell you it is so satisfying, so beautiful, and absolutely has the most striking foliage out of any of the Hoyas that I own. Stick with me and I'll let you know which one we're gonna go over. Hey guys let's go ahead and get into it so the plant of the month is going to be Hoya Fitchii. I got this plant in a private sale to, through uh, Plant Me Ashley's Discord and her name was Melissa and she does have an Etsy and an Instagram which I will link down below and it was a two leaf cutting when I got it. It was starting to get a little tendril and it did come to me in a cocoa husk mix. Um, shortly after I got it I switched it over to Pond and it's been in Pond ever since and you can tell that it's absolutely thriving. It's doing so well. I do have a trellis now and it's going going off the hinges in my Mills Bowl cabinet. Um, it is ranging anywhere from 75 to 95% humidity, just depending on what's going on that day. And it does stay above 75 degrees to about 90 degrees in the cabinet, and it's just flourishing. You can see that some of the leaves here have some sun stressing, and it does turn a nice red-purple color, and it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it's a very satisfying plant to have. It's a fast grower, and I, for at least in cocoa husks and in pond anyways, I can say that it's actually very easy care, and I'm very, very happy with this plant. Thank you, Melissa, for selling it to me. So Hoya Fitchii is native to the Philippines and it was discovered by a photographer named Charles Fitch, hence the name Fitchii. This is a Hoya that when it blooms, the bloom color of the blooms absolutely show the conditions in which it was kept. There are several different flowering varieties to this plant and the conditions will determine what color the umbral will be. Um, I don't know what, what exactly changes the color or what contributes to that. Um, I did not look into that, but just so you know that it does vary. So if you get something and you think it should be one color and it blooms and it's not, that doesn't mean it's a different plant. There are various types of flowers for this one particular plant. The care for Hoya Fitchii is absolutely easy. It's just basic general Hoya care. Water, if it's in soil or bark or what have you, water when the plant gets dry. Um, in pond, I do have it in a self-watering pot and the uh, reservoir below it wicks up moisture and it's constantly just drinking from that. So it's actually very easy care and I highly recommend it for anybody, even if you are a beginner to plants in general or Hoyas in general or a seasoned grower because it is so satisfying to watch this plant just take off. It finishes growing a set of leaves and it's already starting another set. It's such a quick and prolific grower. Highly recommend if you're into something that gives you some great satisfaction very quickly. To propagate Hoya Fitchii, you would just take a stem cutting, uh, make sure there's a node and a leaf or two, stick it in some water, or in my preferred method, Leca. You could do perlite or moss as well. And it is pretty easy to root, guys. It'll take off in about a week or two, and I would say within a month to a month and a half, it would probably be re-ready to pot up. I personally have not had any pests on this plant, so I cannot give advice or any information on how it reacts to different pests. Um, so unfortunately, I'm a little bit of a dead end there for you, but if your Hoya Fitchi eye does get any kind of pest, um, I would assume it would be susceptible to mealybugs and, and, and uh, thrips or spider mites. Any plant in soil could get fungus gnats. I did do a great video on pest prevention that I will put up here for you that you can look at, and I would just treat with any insecticide to get rid of any pests. Um, and if you want more detailed information on that, definitely check out my video for it. Okay guys, thank you so much for joining me for a little chat with Hoya Fitchii. It is an absolutely great plant, guys. I really hope that you guys pick one up, or if you have one already, maybe give it a little extra love this month. They're very underrated. For some reason, they're not talked about a lot in the community, and they're absolutely so much fun. You can see how absolutely beautiful it is, and like I said, it gives you a lot of 
pretty much weekly satisfaction because this baby never stops with the leaves. So uh, let me know, do you have a Hoya Fichiai? How do you feel about it? Do you like it? Is it one of your favorites? Does it kind of get put on the back burner? Let me know. Drop me a comment down below. Um, please follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I'm on Pinterest now as well. Um, my link tree is down below with all, per all pertinent links to my channel. So I would really appreciate it if you would check me out on those other venues. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much, you guys. Go off and spend a lot of great time with your plant babies. See you in the next one.